Welcome back to Breathing Corpses. There's a whole heretic thing of kill everyone makes a lot more sense now. Who's no longer breathing? You can lie on the altar. A sacrifice to the gods. I hope that doesn't break his healing fountain, because I might need that again. Alright, let's just leave this. How many how many more do I have? Three do I? Okay, let's not leave it. Take it with us, just in case. Alright, so let's review briefly. We have a lot of things to get. We should come down here to the nave, right? We'll be coming back to the entrance, maybe finish exploring Lard's Vault, I'm not sure, but... That's the book that goes zing in the library. There's so many, so many mysteries on this map. It's like, I should have a list of unsolved mysteries. A, a mist of mysteries, if you like. I mean, I might just, might just deal with these ones as well, just get them out of the way. Because with all the stuff we've got to explore and running back and forth, we're probably going to have to do... Well, that made them suspicious. Oh, what? He just exploded of his own accord? What? He got suspicious and exploded. Okay, I mean, that's not normally how zombies work, but, you know, I'll take it, I suppose. Sidestep. Oh wow, you're a you're an agile zombie, aren't you? Okay. I do wonder if these ones are, are all supposed to be standing up or the lying down ones, and they just are bugged out. And I'm not complaining that they're bugged out, or whether they're just like that because it's. <laughs> Somebody's attention. That's that's Lud's vault that way, right? They're on the floor below, are they not? Right, because that's the way we came. That's the way we just came up. So, but this also goes to Lud's vault. So he's gonna go the long way around to try and get to me. healing much sooner than I planned. Uh, 
Uh, afraid of getting bitten by the bugs, and I got bitten by the bugs anyway. Okay. All right. Well. Nice. What a mess. Where was the stairs up? Yeah. Let's uh try the fountain again. After doing a little bit of cleaning on this applause. I was once a thief, I am now a fully fledged heretic, it seems. Alright, I will leave it here this time because uh we got the one back from Lodge Vault, but we don't need to leave there. Yay! That is very generous of the uh, map author to do that. Your infinite big healing. I mean, even in uh, Soulport in Haunted Cathedral, they only gave you a small healing fountain that took a couple minutes to recharge. Okay, so. Through this door and south is to the nave, but let's. Mm -hmm. Oops. Mm -hmm. I can't see fire off. Let go. Mm -hmm. John. Okay, so we should take him to the ossuary, right? <laughs> I've robbed that already, yeah. You saw nothing, man. Wait a minute, where am I? Where am I going? Yeah, so this will okay, this is Lud's Vault. Let's let's see if there's anything more in Lud's Vault to do. Yes. Loot. It's not a hammer tile, but I bet it's a trap, right? No, it's just carpet? <laughs> Makes no sense. <laughs> The stairs up. Carpeted room. Heavy hammer. Hmm. What if we drop the heavy hammer on the hammer icon, huh? Would that maybe do something? not. We could throw that at zombies for damage, but um, also not sure it's worth the bother. Alexandru of Mofiri's tomb. Another hammer icon. Wait, have I... I don't think I went down there, did I? Oh, is that the knaves, then? Okay, we've got a bridge there that needs to fold out. Justice Shrine, Old Dead's Vault, 
place just keeps going on and on. You see the skull? Get it back now. What do you say? It's you, go back now, or what? Maybe you said the skull? I don't know. Very hard to hear, unfortunately. We well, can try this heavy hammer on these other hammer tiles. We I mean, know one of them has a bridge that so it just swings out. Wrong hammer, we need a holy hammer. We can test out the heavy hammer though. inefficient. What's this look over here? It must be down here. Is this the nave? Chapel, maybe this feels like a chapel, sort of. That's the chapel. <gasps> Oops, somebody heard that and got upset. Got quite upset. <laughs> oh, and saw me too. Everybody hate me. Oh, you can just walk that way. Keep your eyes open. Did I check this? Does sound like he's coming this way. You know what? Wait a minute, which... Where am I going? Right. Now I'm gonna give him a moment to calm down. Normally I wouldn't run back for healing again quite so soon, because it seems a bit redundant, but... I'm still pretty close. There's several of them angry. They need a minute to calm down. I am still lost. I'm more lost than ever. Like, it's like, okay, I thought maybe I'd start finding places, but instead of starting to find places that I recognized, 
or that I could recognize from description, like the four statues below the nave. Um, finding more named places that seem significant that in ways I'm not clear on. Just adding to my mist of listeries. However, back we shall go. Trying not to be too noisy about it. Okay, this is a little weird ledges, but sort of slide along to get up here, but there's no loot. Maybe there was before and I already got it. Um, if we need to take this guy to the ossuary, how are we even, how are we even going to get there? I'm not sure. Wait a minute. This isn't the way I was just going, was it? Right, I've come this way. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, is this guy going to come back and say the thing again? No. So where was the door that went to the nave? I was here. Thank you. <laughs> hmm, you heard the explosion. Alright, sounds like he's going back. But we're not calm. So this was a nave near the nave key. Aha. Uh -huh. Indeed, the first icon. Okay, that's gotta be the hammer we need, right? There's a ladder oh there's I see where the ladder goes now. Right. There's a door up there. How do we get to that? Above me. Aha. Uh -huh. Never looked up. Maybe we can do our primary objectives without too much trouble. I like that. You just, if you look up, you see a thing. If you don't. I haven't been using these Hollywood bombs, you know. I really should. Right, and the nave key should do this, right? Indeed. Okay, so we feel like I feel like we're on our way to the first objective. Thanks to our ladder, which we finally understand what it's good for. Oh. Well there's other places to go too. New objectives. A mere replica? Find the real first icon. As you may have noticed, the doors are now closed. You will never escape this place without my help. Okay. How unfortunate. <laughs> now listen closely. I will open you a way out, but only if you Assemble something for me. You need to complete a hammer. It's as simple as that. You will find the head of the hammer laying near my shrine. You need 
to find its shaft and put it back into the head. This is all I require. Of course, I cannot let you leave this place without accomplishing what you came for in the first place. I am sure you understand. Assemble a hammer. Head is... That's surely not right. Near... First icon shrine, maybe? Uh, find a shaft. Them together. Something like that. Okay. Well, that's an easy way down. So, which doors did he close? Did he close the doors to the upper tomb or just to the nave? And, and environments. It just seemed like it might be the doors at the top. Well, here's another one of these. Oh, hang on. Have I been down there? It feels awfully like I've been down there. I must have walked under here and never noticed. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I've been here. I... Huh. Never looking up, I suppose. Okay. Are there any other doors? Doesn't seem like it. Weird that you have a ladder as a thing when you can make copious use of rope arrows, but fine arrows. You've got the symmetry problem. In the chapel. Old doorknobs. Boot. I mean, I'm not here to cause harm, but I'm here to take anything that might. Worthless vase. It's surely got a purpose, right? I mean, I can pick it up and carry it. As well as the pieces of rubble. Uh, this place is so big. I'm sure the rubble is relevant too, right? No, I don't know about the doorknobs. That door, right. Oh, this is a formal whatever. Covered this carcass. Okay, it's covered this carcass. Vault is west of nave. South of it is locked door, which needs a key. South 
Gut. And that's not the nail key then? Or the melting key? No, okay. So he wants us to put things to right in the chapel. Is this the, supposed to be the nave? We did see the chapel from somewhere. Okay. Alright, well, let me take my arrow back. Oh, he unlocked this was the door unlocking the I guess. More cleaning. They're much more symmetrical ones than pilots, I'm sure you'll agree. Okay, we can get north out of here. It's another bit of rubble. Okay, I'm quite certain we need to have all of those pieces and assemble them somewhere. But where, I don't know. <laughs> oh, and here we're here again. Okay, so all those locked doors are just a name. So that's where we came in. Let's go this way, I guess. Right. Oh, right. We have been up there. And I was suspicious of that, thinking it was a door, but um, I guess I can throw my keys again. There's the nave key still. Okay. Hang on. We've been in this room too. Right. Right, 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 right. So that's just this uh, this door. Okay. Uh, which I was gonna say should get us to the chapel, but I don't know. I don't remember. That's to Lud's vault. Oh, that's the way down from Lud's vault. Okay, so we should go back there. Okay, so let's go back around to Lud's vault. So. West. I know we got everybody all excited up this way. I don't know what to do about him. That's the, that's the thing marked on the map there, right? So we're getting here from the boat, and I don't know the way back to the boat from where I am right now. But that's clearly, this is clearly to Lud's fault here. Okay. So that door was the nave. To one end of it. Alright, so we hit the boat was sort of east of the the library and it's from those rooms. Ah! 
I crumble. I wonder, so were they, are they actually dead or are their faces just falling off? This is the book that goes in. Oh, that's reciting. What was that note we saw about reading about the hammer that I said sounded important? That's reciting a prayer that we know. Hang on. Anyway, um, where did I drop John? I kind of want to get him back to the ossuary, or at least on the path to the ossuary. I'm not going to be able to carry him on the boat, am I? Not at all. When the Builder gifted us the Rotten Sangam a long time ago, we were granted immense powers. From this tremendous artifact, our ancestors were able to forge several relics, all the while preserving the sun holy. They are supposedly kept within these tombs in chests whose keys are not in our possessions, and mere grave wardens are not allowed to hold them. However, I know that four talismans are locked away in there. Each of them is infused with a great power, but are also dangerous for mere men like us. The talisman's presence here explains why so many thieves attempt to get their hands on them. Does it really explain that this place is supposed to be secret? Nobody's supposed to know about this. How come, how come everybody knows about this? Everybody knows about this tomb and, and all the treasures in it. Oh, another mortuary coin. Okay. Well, I haven't found those two bowls again. I've seen that sun emblem in other places, so maybe it's not significant. But we can put the two mortuary coins in the other bowls, there's no problem. Tiara? Have I been here? No, this is not familiar. That's a long way down. This is familiar. Okay. I saw something on the door frame. Right. I saw this note above here. What does it say? The woman breaks the tomb. Right, the newcomer is in here. Oh my god, there's too many threads at once. Too many threads at once. Can't keep track. All the things I need to be doing. Oh, and these gargoyles are ropeable. Right? I think that's I think that's what they're supposed to be. I think that's why they got the weird green moss on them. Yeah. The readme said something about some gargoyles and things are rubber ball. Well, this might be a mistake coming up here, but I can always jump across that when I go down, right? Okay. Oh hello. Have I been up there? I could maybe jump there from the gargoyle. Guess I can try. Sorry now. Do you mean to jump onto your corpse like that? A bit rude of me. I don't think I can make that jump. Not like that. I think I have been up there anyway. I think I, the, the place that's up here. That's where I left John. The room that's behind here, which I get to from. Oh, somewhere else. Somewhere up this way? Well, in here. Is this thing open? Or just glows ominously? Right, what was up with the room? Was everything 
We'll, uh... Find it backwards, anyway. Right, we climbed up, up... It's up here, right? This is the one that took us. Oh, this place is such a maze, and I wish it had a much, much better map. No, this is... Oh my god, is this the warm embrace of the tomb? This must be the warm embrace of the tomb. I haven't been down there. Right, there's this room which was fireball traps and nothing else I could make sense of. I mean, I kind of came down here a little bit. I think I had some fights, but I don't think I explored down this way, right? Chests up there? Stuff up there? How are you supposed to get up there? Okay, so this is the lower level of the warm embrace of the tomb. It's not wood on the ceiling at all, is it? It doesn't look like it. Oh my god, this place. be so much better with an actual proper order map. Even if it started off blank and you had to explore and find places for them to get marked. Oh, he's got a head on his back as well. He's got eyes in the back of his head. Or a face in the back of his head. I bet that doesn't carry through on his head when we pick it up now. No. Nope. <laughs> That's fair enough. Oh shit, that got people's attention. Let's get out of there. And they're quiet too, they weren't making noise. Yeah, the warm embrace of the tomb. Okay. Wait, that was the newcomer? He didn't have a box though. Should we not have murdered him? Should we have... Let him go take his box? Hello. Let's have more three coins. Are you the newcomer? Invisibility, slow fall, healing, I suppose. Something seems wrong here. He's taking damage and making weird noises. Pushback is quite extreme. I'm gonna say I don't. I don't think we can uh, kill him. So maybe let's not backstab him. Hmm. Okay, so warm embrace of the tomb has healing.
on the south end of Warm Embrace. That's the entrance to it. Where's this door take us? Oh, okay. Right, 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 right. Wait, then do I recognize the other door? Or was I see had I seen both of them and just confused the two? Okay, this is where we came in before. When we went down before. This is the place I was thinking of, and this is the place that overlooks we go up here. Right. Yes, I have been to this ledge. Okay, one question answered. Uh, and that takes us to the saddler. Okay. I don't know what to do about the saddlers at all. I have not found any information about them. And it feels like it would need information about them. Okay, but saddlers, saddlers are west, north, and up the road from Warm Embrace, or north, west of Flame Zombie Room. A Flame Head Room. Don't remember, even though he's not there anymore. Okay. Well, there's definitely some more active enemies down this way. Oh, I see, there's a little more that was just kind of waiting. Hiding behind the walls, waiting to come out. Sneaky trick. Ow! Okay, well, I guess we should test out that healing fountain then, huh? Where is this? I haven't been in there, have I? I don't think I've been in there. Right, let's come back in a minute. Let's go check out that healing fountain and make sure it works. Uh, I haven't... Oh. What is going on there? Is that a... There's a glowy face guy, okay. Definitely haven't been there. I don't know what's up with black and white man here, but... Wait a minute. Oh, that one has to prop a bunch. But it doesn't seem to time out, so that's alright. How do I get up here? I mean, I could maybe put a rope on the chest itself? Yeah, okay, that's unusual, but... It's a skull, but it's not like the skull that he wanted, right? The, the Alexander guy wanted. <coughs> that's all right. That's a small amount of damage. Okay, we came in that way, but we haven't been this way. Or have we? Well, no, because there's stuff I'm finding, but... Uh... 
melting key opens. Oh, the talisman of fire. Okay, and dirty key would open the talisman earth chest. Right. Yeah, there's a particular place. So we need like a wet key and a light, yeah, lightweight key or something. I don't know. I'm sure I can't pick it, right? This one I can pick. Maybe I should have tried the last but one. Another mortuary coin, okay. So this one I can't pick, right? Someone's coming to investigate. I heard explosion noises. Uh... <laughs> Can I pick this one? Yes. Always check, always check. Fire arrows, okay. It's glowy face. Either. So what does the talisman of fire do? Let's find out. Let's do some science. If we can find it. Wait a minute. I had it. Oh, it's a weapon. Wait, just give me Hollywood arrows? What's wrong with your face, man? It's kind of cool. Um, it's kind of a problem, isn't it? He's not dying. Weird science. The talisman of fire gives me holy water at the cost of health. Not good science. As in, it's not a useful result. Don't think we'll be publishing that one in that any journals anytime soon. Also, finding out that whoever's in the middle here is kind of invincible. Uh huh. Talisman of Earth. Let's science that one then. Oh, there's the heart. Okay. <laughs> so what the hell is the Talisman of Earth even doing then? It's just hurting me. It doesn't seem to be doing anything else. At least nothing else that I can make sense of. Is that where we came in? Yes, because I threw the skull and stuff down. Okay. All right, so I thought it was a secret force field, but nope. There's some important work to be done here. Well, if we find a wet key. Okay, so the other keys we're going to find in their element, right? Oh, is he just going to stand there? That would be quite handy, actually. Oh, maybe not.
he gonna do when he gives up the search? Is the question. He's got squidgy feet. Alright, let's let him go there. Okay, so now which way is out? That way, of course, right? The way that he's facing. So there's north... North of Warm Embrace. Tellers Manchester's. Red face. Invincy zombie. Okay. Now this way, I haven't explored. I've been up here, right? Right, I wanted to get that loot and I fell down. <laughs> I wanted to make this jump quietly. I didn't manage to do so quietly. Have I been in there? That looks ominous. It doesn't look familiar. I have not been in here. Is this place the place unbeknownst key? Okay, I see there's more zombies in here. Any more loot? Doesn't look like it. That's not loot, that's zombie head. Okay. Place unbeknownst keys. Okay, but. Where do we use that then? I'm going to spell it correctly here, even though it's not. Ah, we have the south, the locked door to the south. Okay, hang on. You guys would never wet key in, in there, would you? It's a damp key. No, this is where the boat was, wasn't it? Right, okay, so found the boat. Can we mark it anyhow? Kind of. So that's north of Warm Embrace. So east of east of Warm Embrace for the boat. Okay, so the covetous carcass as vaults west. Oh man! Right, yeah, that's the north end of Warm Embrace. Is this a door? 
maybe. Could just also be a solid thing. Could have been hiding somebody. Could have been lots of things. I want to test this track. Whoa! That's a near miss. Um, warm embrace the tomb. That's the this is the ledge above the fire zombies room. Okay. Oh yeah, we don't want to be in here. Uh, where do we want to be? In this way? I mean, not really. I... Is this the chapel? No, this is the library. So the nave is through this door. West of the nave is the covetous carcass's vault. Well, hang on. <laughs> you saw the covetous carcass's vault from up this way, right? Hang on, we haven't... Have we unlocked all these rooms? That's the nave. That's the covetous carcass. South of it is a... Okay, so maybe the place unbeknownst key goes here? Guess we can check out what covetous carcasses are up to. <laughs> well, covetous carcass seems to want something. Doesn't want a carcass. We could give it both an undead quite easily, or an alive. We could bring John down here. No, sorry, or dead. Ordinary dead. We could bring John down here. Instead of the artillery. No? Apparently not that. Okay. Maybe you can wait here. Hmm. Needs something. No idea what. Don't know what the story about the bizarre newcomer with with the box was either. In the warm embrace. This mission, man, is going. It feels like it's designed to get you to look up a walkthrough, and I do not like that one bit. Now I've where I was going. Alright, we're at Blame Zombie Room. Okay. First icon. A uh, real first icon is. Where? What do we do with the. Th hmm, what do we do with the Saddlers? What do we do with the Three Sons? What's this deal with Bizarre Newcomer with the box? What do we put in the CCV? Where do we get the Hammerhead? We have no idea where the first icon shrine is. I assume the first icon is going to, because it looks like the holy hammer, is going to activate those hammer tiles, maybe? Uh, Talisman chest room, which we only have, we don't have uh, water air. Talisman still. Well, hole is a freeming splash. We could try going to. Yeah, let's try going to the chapel. Uh, what's the way back to Lud's Vault from here? Hang on. Is this a door? Maybe. I mean, a possible door. Apparently not. 
might have tested that before, but I can't remember. There's John. Right, we can't take him on the boat. Let's leave him in this room. I guess it's on our map. For the moment. Wait, that's the other boat? Is that where the boat takes us? It's down here. Ah. And this could totally be ropes, right? We could put a rope in the bottom of one of those and then in the top of one of those and get from the bottom one to the top one and up here. Or get down from there. And this is the nave. That's totally where the other boat goes. Okay, so we can bring we can just throw John down there. Alright, we'll do that. No, no, John. All the way, please. Okay. We don't want the nave, I want a blood's vault. I guess going through the nave would have taken us to Lad's Vault as well. Okay, hang on. Is this his shrine with the hammerhead is? Because... There is that icon. I don't see a hammerhead, though. Probably something will happen if we come there with the first icon, I guess. No, uh... Ah. No idea what to do with you still. It's another first icon place. Right. Uh, how did you explode? I don't remember putting a zombie here, did I? We might as well balance it, you know, symmetry and all that. Oh right, yeah, we were here. Mm, that guy got angry when we exploded the zombie, that's right. And we kind of let him, left, went away to let him calm down. And that's the chapel that he's in. For this map. We're here. see. Just try all the keys, because who knows if any of them work. Yes, quarters keys work, apparently. Oh, what the arrow. It's not really been using many. What was the deal with that shivering zombie on the red book who then appeared on the next red book? The men that are buried down here are being awarded for their righteousness, their lives and their example to follow without a doubt. The Builder requires their corpses to be buried following a strict process, and Grave Warden Moira is in charge of it most of the time. The process allows our body to be preserved for centuries, even millennia. The Builder surely made our bodies in such a way that we may take part in his celestial plans. We shall work for his greatness during our lifetime. Protect ourselves after death has come, and prepare ourselves for his arrival in our world. As a Grave Warden, my role in his plans is minuscule, and I am nothing but a drop in the ocean in comparison to the great men buried here. Ever since the invasions have begun, the dead seem to be in a state of extreme alert. Grave Warden Aaron is convinced that one of the thieves evaded them and is hiding somewhere. It seems to put the dead in some sort of deprived state. They seem to be craving for some of the ingredients we use to preserve the bodies. We only use two ingredients. Astral powder, holy embalming oil. The oil is applied on the whole body, then the powder is dredged on it. It seems the dead are most of all craving the powder. We had to lock up our supplies to make sure we don't run low on it. The powder is extremely useful to us, and we cannot allow ourselves to lose it so easily. If we run out, the men buried here will wake up and might cause trouble. We burned some powder in hanging lamps to maintain the warmongers in their sleep. I took the liberty of taking a purse of the precious powder with me. I will hide it in case we run really low. 
Alright, well I did find a purse of it somewhere, but I don't know where. I don't remember where. And if I remember correctly, there was a morgue. Was this where the hammer instructions were? Because we might need it. There's a plate that's... No, no, it's a dead end marked there, but that feels like a doorway, maybe. Oh, there's somebody else with something funky going on with their face. Alright, priest. Alright, well, there's more symmetry in the chapel now. Let's take the book, shall we? Ah, oh, the Rotten Sun. What an odd name for such a spectacular artifact. I was surprised to find myself gazing at it all day long. Its light is so bright, yet it does not blind. It casts warmth on the builder's worshippers, yet its core is freezing. Staring at it, I can understand why it is coveted by so many kings and lords. But few would dare to try taking it away, as they fear the almighty artifact as much as they should fear the Builder's wrath. And then, how little do I feel when I realize that the Rotten Sun, the most precious of our possessions, is merely the tiniest ember the Builder could give away from his celestial foundry. Our simple mortal minds could not even picture his immense power. I do not dare to imagine what would happen to us and to the tombs if this glorious artifact came to disappear. But surely no thief would ever be able to steal it. How could it happen, when even we are not capable of holding it? Okay, well, I'm improving some of the symmetry in this room. Maybe it wasn't the chapel he was complaining about. It is pretty symmetrical, apart from that book now. We could destroy all the tapestries, and that might make it more symmetrical. I'm also not sure if it might ruin something. I mean, if they're all equally destroyed, it should be the same, right? Hmm. I'm gonna reload that just in case. Oh, we've got the objective. It's better not to anger a talking artifact. Reassemble the hammer. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, what's in this room? Well, what's arrows? Money? behind. I've been trying for months to create a substitute for the astral powder, but all my attempts ended up being unsuccessful. It is obviously impossible to reproduce it myself, and this is troubling. The dead have become addicted to this substance ever since the first theft was committed. It does not present a threat for us grave wardens, but we fear that the dead being deprived from it for too long may cause great harm to the tombs. The place is constantly moving. It has been months since we last received a stock of astral powder. What is taking them so long? Maybe the temple producing the precious powder is undergoing some issues? I suspect the newcomer to be involved in it somehow. We have been sending tons of inquiries about the matter. Maybe the newcomer does not know that he is in charge of sending out mail or something. To be honest, I do not know myself who is responsible for this. Oh, hang on. We've got a second floor here. We've got another door out there. What's up? What's in the upper floor? Aha! Uh -huh. I bet I can't pick this one. Oh, I can pick this one. Yeah, I can just pick the lock on your tape and it's easier than most of the other ones in this place. I mean, I guess you're just keeping a secret tiara there. For some reason. Hello, key. Nothing. What's this key then? The nave key, okay. What well, makes two copies of it? Oh no, it's just. It doesn't stack, it's just the, this, this is the one I've already got. It combines with it. That's cool. Oh, hello. Alright, well, it's about time for the end of the episode. We've got just one last room to check out. Hello there. 
Just like to wait by the door to say boo to the guests, yeah. So far my experience in this place is daunting to say the least, but I try to remain as calm and collected as possible. No clear instructions were given to me when I was sent here. I think this might be the newcomer's note. The high priest told me to investigate the place and report the situation, but nobody told me that I would not have any means of contact here. Men here are Hammerites for sure, but they constantly ignore me and never speak. The place can be insanely dark sometimes, so I, I can't even make eye contact with them. One of them handed me a paper. I could not decipher it as it contained nothing but pure gibberish. I'm assuming I need to work among them, but the lack of communication is not helping. The main entrance is sealed, so this has to be the place where I'm supposed to be. As soon as I arrived, one of the Grave Wardens took my lantern away. After inspecting it closely, he looked extremely confused. Then he took me to another room where one of the other Grave Wardens handed me a rag and began to scrub cast this was one himself. I think he was showing me how to do it. He must have been scrubbing those old caskets, caskets for 12 hours straight. Meanwhile, I have noticed that the dead are constantly roaming about the tombs. They are clearly looking for something, but they do not seem to mind me. When I stopped cleaning, I went to find the quarters in order to get some well-deserved rest as well as a fine meal. But even though I have wandered about half an hour, I have not found a single hint about such a place. When I asked a grave warden where I could find the barracks, he just grumbled at me and continued working. Well, I have found some old rags that I could use as a mattress, and I have eaten some bread I brought with me. I already want to leave this place, but I have to accomplish my mission, whatever it may be. If I leave now, the Builder will never forgive me. Brother Ethric. Okay, you've got some vases. Fire arrows, moss arrows. Noise maker, and some more money. One that's not really enlightening us about, about the newcomer's mission. Um... Or for that matter about what the deal is with the old man and what he needed. Or what Fireface here needs. Well, those are all mysteries for next episode. Actually, you know what? Let's let's reduce one mystery for now. Let's plant that there so that when I come back for a break, I will know where I want to go next. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you here soon for the next episode.